to talk to you briefly about the sharp rise in prices today in the corn and soybeans especially, but also in the wheat, which kind of went along for the ride. There are three things that converge to create kind of a perfect storm this morning and drive prices higher. The first thing is a normal shift at this time of year from focus on the supply of a record crop coming in to focus on the demand picture and the usage pictures. That's quite normal for this time of year. The market was helped along by the fact that palm oil was making spiky new highs overnight and still is nearby its highs. The other thing is rumors of bullish, bullish rumors out of Ukraine, which may or may not be part of the picture as well. The second thing though is the market was down the last several days and it's not a surprise to square up into the USDA report that we're going to have tomorrow. Corn, for instance, was down to 345. It's not at least part of the rally was to push that back up to 350 where the market feels kind of comfortable going into a USDA number. The third reason why I think the market rally today was because of the election. It goes without saying that a Trump victory would be surprising and therefore the market fund managers in particular would see that as bearish for prices, especially in the export market. And the second thing is a Clinton victory, which is expected by the polls, would at the very least be friendly for prices because of the export and grain handling business would be business as usual. So those two things have caused funds to come in and either cover short positions or add to new long positions. I think I saw a report that said 25,000 corn was bought today and thousands of contracts of soybeans as well. So those are the three things that we're seeing. It's not unusual as well to see grains rally into a on election day and it's not unusual to see them fall off in prices following. So we'll see what happens, but that's what's going on today. Thank you. Thank you, counsel. The case is submitted.